In this demonstration, you'll learn about the scene and solution animation capabilities in ANSYS Fluent. A scene is a compilation or layering of different graphics. This is an example of a scene displaying velocity vectors on top of pressure contours. Here's how you create a scene. Begin by opening the scene creation dialog box. I'll give the scene a name. Then I'll select the contour and vector plots that I've already created. Displaying the scene as it sits looks like what's already shown here. Let's say that I now want to include the mesh in the scene as well, so I can see if or how the mesh density is affecting my results. I'll open the mesh display dialog box and select the surfaces included in the contour. I don't want faces included, so I'll disable those and save. The new object is automatically enabled in the scene. Using this transparency slider, I can make it easier to see all of the results. If you need to access any of the functionality from the pre-release 18 scene description dialog box, you can access it here by clicking Compose in the Viewing Ribbon tab. Now that I've shown you how to create scenes, I'll cover the steps for creating a solution animation. One key thing to keep in mind is that you need to define solution animations after initializing the case but before you begin iterating, so that Fluent captures the appropriate images during the calculation. This is why the Animation Definition dialog box is accessed through the Solving Ribbon tab, rather than the Post Processing tab. First, you need to open the Animation Definition dialog box. You can choose to name your animation, which is useful when it comes to playing the animation later. Because this is a transient simulation, I want the image recorded after every time step. The HSF file storage type saves 3D animation images, which allows you to modify the view while playing the animation. The default storage directory is the same as your working directory, and the window ID specifies where the animation images will be displayed while the solution is being calculated. The animation object list indicates the available graphics objects you can choose to animate. You may only select one object per animation definition, but you can create as many animation definitions as you want which is why it's important to supply a meaningful name for each definition. I'll select the mesh and choose the current viewing position for the animation view. I'll save the animation by clicking OK. I'll skip past the calculation part just to quickly show you how to play an animation once it's been created. Here you can select the animation you want to play, then click play. I can use this slider to control the playback speed. I'll reframe the view using the scroll wheel to zoom. If your animation consists of a lot of images, like this one does, you may want to increase the increment so that you can actually see the changes on a shorter timescale. Note that you'll have to click this button to play when the increment is larger than 1. This concludes this demonstration of the scene and animation features in ANSYS Fluent. Thanks for watching.